we're now streaming. If you could keep yourselves muted, I've got us right now, uh, the background blurred because I've got the whiteboard with a lot of stuff put on it. So I'm going to be covering a lot of information today. I put most of it on a whiteboard. It's very simple, actually, but I want to go over a couple things. Uh, this video is titled the RVP plan for 2024. This is for people who have committed to and want to reach the RVP rank by the end of 2024. And it's an aggressive plan. I mean, after all, if you make it to RVP um, by the end of 2020, you can't make under $100,000 a year residual. You can't. And it's residual, which means it's business ownership, meaning you get paid it month over month over month, whether you're actively working anymore or not. Now, uh, many of you have decided you want to shoot for the RVP rank. Congratulations. You're the RVP trailblazers. If you're just learning of this by watching this video or watching this live event as it occurs, in our Facebook page, we have a pin to the top, a way to subscribe to the RVP list. Why? Because we're going to be doing private events for people who are shooting for RVP only. It's not going to be, it's going to be very assertive and aggressive. And this is all based on what I experienced when I first got in this industry in the early 90s, which was a game plan with my leadership that I would work and I would work it and I would work it until I achieved it. And if so, I could get out of General Motors. You know, me like you, when I learned of this business, uh, many of you anyway, I had a full-time job and I was uh, looking to get out of that full-time job because I had done everything I was taught. I'd gone to the college. I had gotten the good grades. I'd gotten the job opportunity. I was growing in the corporate ladder, climbing that corporate ladder. But unfortunately, uh, I was still living paycheck to paycheck. And I couldn't buy any toys, God forbid, buy a snowmobile in here in Michigan or go on a ski trip. I didn't have money to do stuff like that. Uh, heck, we didn't even have a garage on our house. And I wanted to build a garage and didn't have the money to build a garage. So we even had to buy a dishwasher. Our, our, our kitchen didn't have a dishwasher in it. So we and it didn't have room for a dishwasher. There's such a small kitchen that we had to buy one of those kitchen dishwashers that you roll around and you plug into your sink. I don't know if you've ever even seen one of those. But this was after graduating from a top business school, getting a great job, doing everything right. We were just getting started. But the bottom line is I had a dishwasher. And I'll never forget that dishwasher. It cost $14 a month to finance it because I didn't have the money to pay the $150 for the dishwasher. So it was $7 or $14 a month. I forget the amount. But I remember a day I wrote that check and it wasn't going to clear. I remember writing all my bills down and I knew that check wasn't going to clear if I sent it then. So I had to pay it late. It hurt my credit for a $7 or $14 payment because the check would bounce. And I remember saying, I got to change something. I'm going to a movie is the only entertainment I have. My wife and I, she was working, I was working. So I got to find something. And that's when I learned about this home-based business industry part-time. And I started working it part-time and someone gave me an assertive plan. It was an assertive plan to get out of my job at General Motors, to make more money than I was making in my General Motors job. It was not easy, but it was doable. You're going to see a plan today that is simple but it's not easy. It's very doable, but it's going to take you having a discipline, the same discipline I had that got out, got me out of General Motors. And I remember the day I took my little magnetic card that I got in my security at headquarters. And I remember turning that into the security guard there. And he goes, dude, good for you. Congratulations. And he had been there 20 or 30 years. He's like, man, I wish I would have had the same hunger and drive you do, because maybe I wouldn't still be standing, sitting behind the security booth. And the bottom line was, he could have. I told him then about the business and he wasn't interested. So I don't know how long he stood in that security booth. And I don't know how much longer he stayed there greeting people as they walked in and out of that building. That was his job. And But he had the option. I gave it to him. And all of you have the option right now to make six figures by the end of 2024 residually, to be able to have a business that gives you that kind of money. But it's an option. It is not a given. It is not guaranteed. This is not Obama dollars or Biden dollars or Trump dollars or any government dollars. This is you sweat equity yourself to earning an income. It's not uh, uh, tuition reimbursement plans. It's commissions for effort. It's not uh, unemployment. It is bonuses for building performance. And if you can do that, you guarantee you write your own ticket. And that's what someone shared with me is, David, you can keep complaining about your General Motors income. 
and I wasn't complaining, but I was frustrated by it. You can complain about it or you can solve it. I've got the solution for you to solve it. You're about to hear a game plan right now that'll solve it. That'll put you in a six figure income by the end of 2024. But if you don't want to do this, please don't come to these and please don't ask questions and please don't um, want to be um, participating if you're not going to do the thing because it just brings lack of belief to others who are going for it. And if you have 100 people going for it, 100 will make it. But if you have 100 going for it and 90 of them aren't really committed, the 10 will think it's hard because of the 90. It's called social proof or social disproof not interested in that. My enroller didn't get out of General Motors. His enroller didn't get out of General Motors. His enroller didn't get out of General Motors. None of them earned enough to get out of General Motors. I didn't care. I went up, 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 up till I found someone who was, was doing this and they lived in another state. They lived in another state, Montana. I lived in Michigan. In fact, they were living in California at the time, but they would talk to me over the phone and be committed. And all the people around me weren't as committed. All the people around me didn't have to drive to get out of General Motors. But I did. And so I say all this because I'm going to show you a plan. I've got the screen blurred on purpose right now. So you don't think ahead and start looking at all the details. Because what's most important is what you've already heard. And so you got to do a checkup from the neck up and make a decision. Is this what you want to do? Do you want, you can't make RVP uh, without giving it effort. You can't. You could stumble your way by recruiting people and hope a lottery ticket, but I've seen people recruit 100 people in a DAC and they're not RVP because they tried to stumble their way. You can't. I wouldn't count on it. That's again, maybe Biden will come out with a new thing to say, not only is your tuition reimbursed, but your mortgage is reimbursed and you'll never have to pay a car, car payment again and you'll never have to pay a house payment again and it's all free. You can hope, or you can write that ticket yourself. You can sign off on your own checks instead of hoping some government comes along to give you a check. So if you're ready to proceed and you say, I wanna make that happen, you're gonna have to build a team. You can't break RVP here without building a team. You may say, I don't wanna be involved in network marketing. Then you can stop watching right now because you can't make RVP here without building a team. Now you can make six figures just by getting clients in our funding business or even our residual services. You could go out and just get payment processing or healthcare or pharmacy customers. You could do that and you can get to six figures. You'd have to get a lot of customers, but you can do it. We've had people do it just with our funding. So you can do it, but you gotta do it again next year and the following year and the following year because it's not residual. Now, if you can get some residual services, they're good for you. And you should do that. And that's, that's saved for a separate video. You can do algebra, sit down and see how much payment processing customers, how many healthcare customers, how many pharmacy customers, how many funding customers to get your personal commissions to $100,000 a year and go do it. You don't need a plan for that. This plan is for people who want to build a team and get to RVP. All right. Now, if you don't want to recruit a team, this isn't for you. I'm going to say it again. If you're willing to build a team, duplication is what matters most. So I'm giving you some principles before we go through the plan. Duplication is what matters most, meaning if you can do something, but no one else can, that's not what you want to teach. It means we're going to teach the things that the average person can do and the average person will do. Like you may be totally excited about our business funding and approaching uh, bank managers about funding. Great. Most of our agents are too afraid to do that or won't do that. If you are, go for it. It's a great move. You may say, I'm totally going to take our health care to companies with 100,000 employees or more. Great. Most of our agents would never do that. You get to, if that's your experience and back, go for it. You may say, I'm going to take this pharmacy plan to only to insurance companies, and I'm going to try to get them to add to this to their insurance rather than getting one or two at a time. If you want to go for it, the average person won't. So if that's what you're doing, you don't teach your team to do that just because you're willing to. What we teach is what the masses will do so that you can duplicate your business and get to RVP. You know, McDonald's uh, teaches people how to make a hamburger more consistent than anyone else in the country. It doesn't have to be the best burger. They sell more than anybody. 
consistency over quality, right? When you go to Memphis, Tennessee for a McDonald's burger, you know what it's going to taste like, just like in Michigan, just like in Seattle, just like in Russia. doesn't matter where you go, you know what the burger is going to taste like because they said we're going at consistency more than anything. So we're going to give you a system that's all about consistency. We're going to show you a plan. You may go, I don't want to focus on the RX plan to break RVP. You don't have to, but we're going to give you a system that duplicates fastest. And the RX plan is the product we're focusing on. Of course, you can get payment processing customers. Of course, you can do the other things as well. But when you see the plan here, you're going to see you get 5, 10, 15, and then 20 pharmacy customers. You go, I don't want to do that. You can stop watching. Stop watching. Because if you don't want to follow the McDonald's plan, don't own a McDonald's. You can go do the business, but you want to teach the system that the company's teaching because we know the masses can do this. We've been looking for this product for seven years. We now have the product we believe we can build our game plan around. By the way, our funding applications have gone up because our recruiting has tripled since we launched the product. So we know that funding is going to go up. We know a lot of your agents will do funding. But we know a lot more can help someone get a $20 product. And that's what you can build your plan on. And it's residual and it's high retention. It's high value. It's an easy yes or no. And all the while, they can also go out and do funding and payment processing and health share and the other healthcare products, et cetera. All right. So a couple more principles. Duplication is key. You got to be willing to duplicate or don't be involved. All right. Don't challenge this. This is the company plan. You're an independent agent. You can go do whatever you want. But the RVP plan is for people who want to do it the DAC way. They want to do it the DAC way. Because they recognize that everything we put in our tools, everything we put in our app is going to be teaching the DAC way. Just like McDonald's, you don't say, hey, Joe, you make you just graduated from culinary school and you can make a real good hamburger and you've got, heck, it's a lot better than our Big Mac. We'll call it the Big Mo and Big Mo is so much better. Go ahead and sell the Big Mo in your store. It would kill McDonald's. Doesn't matter if the burger's better. Big Mo is going to hurt because Big Mo is only available in your town where you're able to work because you're a super chef. So again, duplication is don't be Big Mo. Just follow the DAC way. All right. If you have something like the Egg McMuffin or the Big Mac or the filet of fish that you think McDonald's should add, then you bring it to us. And if we agree, then we add it to everything. All right. We, if you think the training needs to be modified a little bit, you tell us if we agree, we train it in, in the whole system trains rather than you having to do it on your own. All right. All right. So RVP, I'm going to unblur my screen. This is what you're going to want to do. Look at everything. And just know this, I'm going to talk about everything up there. If you go ahead, you're going to miss key statements. I don't want to spend a lot of time in long rants. I wanted to set this up with what we've done. Now I want to blaze through the plan. All right. So don't move ahead looking at everything on the board. Just stay with me on the stuff I talk about. Okay, here's what we got. On the board, we've got different ranks in the company. They're all available in the comp plan chart, okay? Different ranks in the company. We're going to talk about those in the plan. And we've got different goals that we're going to be shooting for. These are what I'm going to address, all right? First thing you want to know is to become an RVP, you need 200 personal residual revenue and you need 100,000 group volume, which is over here, okay? You need 200 personal volume, 100,000 group revenue, and you need that 100,000. You can't have any more than 40% for money one leg, okay? That means if you have three organizations, or let's say you had two organizations and each one are doing 50,000, are you at 100,000 in residual revenue? Yes, but you can only have maximum 40,000 from winning one leg count toward your qualification. So if this group's got 100,000 themselves, you're going to get paid on all 100,000. It's not that we cut your pay, but you only get to count up to 40,000 toward your promotion. So you at least need three active legs to get your rank. All right. Now, so you need 100,000 in group volume, no more than 40,000 from any one leg to get to RVP. As an RVP, you're getting a $1,000 car allowance, you're getting a $1,000 expense account, 
you're getting the seven level override pay at the highest 30% match. And then you've got an override on your team and coding on your new team. I'm going to go through that after. But you cannot make under $100,000 at that rank. You can't. Now, more likely you're going to be making 150 to 250, but let's just say you barely made it. You're right at 100,000. You just earned it. You got that everyone's maximizing commissions in your team. The minimum you're going to make is $100,000 a year residually, okay? So, that's why we say this is your six-figure plan. Now, by the end of 24, every one of you, 100% of you can make it to this rank. 100% of you. Some of you may do this in 90 days. We haven't had anyone yet, but we're going to start, now that we're focused on this, we're going to start having people reach this rank. We're going to see who can hit it the fastest. Who can hit it first? Who can hit it the fastest? Who can hit it second? Who can hit beat their record? Beat their record, et cetera. Again, if you want to be on the RVP plan, go to the Facebook page. Click on that link to make sure you're included in all future conversations, discussions, private meetings, et cetera. All right, so that's what we're trying to do. So if you know you need 200 personal, you know you need 100 grand, which is right here in your group, how are you gonna do it? Well, number goal number one, write this down. Your first goal is you need 20 pharmacy customers, 20. And you go, what about the healthcare? What about, add all that if you want. But you personally have to go out and get 20 customers. I don't want to do that, David. I want to make Big Mo's burgers and steaks. Great. Don't own a McDonald's. Don't do the RBP plan. Don't do it the DAC way. Well, David, those are all services we sell. I know you can go get all those. I've got payment pro I got telecom customers. I got payment processing customers. I got funding customers. I got ERC customers. I got giggle customers. I got pharmacy customers. I got healthcare customers. I've got every product we sell customers. But I'm not teaching everyone, go do that. I'm saying 5, 10, 15, 20. Your first goal is five customers. Your second goal is 10. Your third is 15. Your fourth is 20. Write that down. And, and you could all knock that out this month. The training tomorrow night, we'll talk about it. And anything we've already discussed talks about how to get those customers. Okay, that's goal number one. Goal number two, you need one, two, three, four, five teams, five legs you've recruited where you at least have one person in those five teams shooting for the RVP plan, okay? You need one, two, three, four, five minimum shooting for the RVP plan. That means you need to recruit people and you need to find out through game plan discussions with them, are you shooting for RVP within 12 months? RVP, what if they start in February? RVP in 12 months. What if they start in June? RVP in 12 months. It's a 12-month plan to RVP. Are you shooting for it? Hey, do it in six if you can. Do it in five. If it takes you 18 months instead, who cares? You're, make, you're making six figures. Heck, people go to college for four years and don't graduate making six figures. If you work this part-time for four years to get there, you're still making six figures. You're a business owner. You're getting paid every year residually anyway, plus all the other money that you can earn. So one, two, three, four, five minimum. So you have goal. You want to write that down. One, two, three, four, five. Now, right here, this is a little example. Let's say you have, and by the way, the five don't have to be personally enrolled. But let's say you have David right here, me, and I'm on your third level under, you recruited your sister, Marcy. She recruited Gina. Gina recruited Tim, and Tim recruited me. We played sports together. And I say, I'm doing this. And Tim doesn't, Gina doesn't, Lisa doesn't. But David says he's going for it. And David goes out and says, I'm trying to get the RVP plan. So I'm trying to get five customers, 10 customers, 15, 20. And a month goes by and I have zero customers. David isn't the one. Doesn't matter what David said. David's actions don't back up his words. Empty cans make the most noise. A lot of people will say they're going for this, but you look at their results let their, let their activity indicate whether they're serious about this. When I said I was getting out of General Motors, you didn't have to ask me to recruit people to the meeting each week. You didn't ask to ask me to show up to training each week. You didn't have to ask me to get customers each week. What you had to do is ask me to talk to my wife and make sure she was okay with me being gone so much because I was sacrificing to go make it happen while going to General Motors 50 hours a week doing it in the evenings and weekends and lunchtime. So it was more of a 
can you help make sure my relationship is okay? Rather than can you make sure I get off my butt and go to work? Are you hungry or not? Right? So if David isn't doing the thing, you erase, that's why they made erasers. So here's Bill. Here's Stacy. Here's Gina. Here's Tim. I'm losing uh, Joe. I'm using short names, guys. Sorry um, if I forgot a, 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 a gender. Joe, Bill, Stacy, Gina, Tim. I think I got them all. All right. Today's world, who knows? But in this world, we got all the genders. All right. So Joe goes out and Joe says he's going for it and he's getting the customers 5, 10, 15, 20. He's getting the customers and he says, okay, now I'm trying to get my goal. So let's say he's got seven customers after 10 days. Good for you, Joe. And let's say he says, okay, I'm trying to recruit, trying to find my five teammates who love what they're doing, want to go RVP in 12 months. And Joe's got three people he's recruited. And Tim is one of them. And Tim says, I'm going for it. And Tim's got six customers already. And Tim's got four reps and they're all starting to grow. Sorry, I know the light's right there. So let me angle this. Maybe that'll change the lighting a little bit. Okay, they're all starting to grow. And what happens is eventually down here, here's Tom too. Tom is going, holy cow, this is amazing. And Tom's got 25 customers in his first week. He goes, I'm done. I'm past that. I already got that goal done. Now, not only that, he's recruiting some superstars, right? You've got one, two, three, four people going for it, don't you? You got four people going for it there. And the good news is that leg is going to start growing and help you get to this $40,000 mark, right? It's going to do that. Um, that's good. That's what we call a good active leg. You got four people, even though we said have five legs, have five legs, which you've got one of your legs right here through Joe. And it may be that Tom drives the revenue. Doesn't matter who drives the revenue. You need a leg driving revenue. Okay. And all of a sudden you're doing you're doing some value here. But if some reason none of these people did anything, you erase Joe. You don't stop until you have five who say they're shooting for it and actually demonstrate they're shooting for it with their performance, all right? That's what these five are. So your goal sheet will have one, two, three, four, five. Write down what their names are. Now, I'm not stopping at five. You shouldn't either because you never know who you, you don't want to know that you got to add a new quarterback after they're laying on the field injured or when they don't show up to work. You want to have three quarterbacks trained on the job before you have an injury or before someone has a contract holdout, right? So how do you do that? You don't stop at five. You need five legs going for it to break RVP. Now you may say, why do you need five, Dave? You said you only need three organizations here, 40, 40, and 20. You're right. But some are going to grow faster than others. Some are going to stay super active. Some are going to blossom and then die on the vine. You know, Jesus said there's four types of soil when you're going out and sharing the gospel. And he said he likened it to a farmer passing seeds out, dropping seeds. He said some of the seeds is going to fall right on the pathway. And the birds will come along and pick it up and take it away. They didn't receive the message. They never signed up and said they want to be RVP. Someone's going to fall in the rocks where the, sh the soil is sh shallow and the seed will take root and start to blossom. They say they want to be RVP. It'll start to blossom. But as soon as the heat comes and the weather comes, they're dried up and the, the, the plant dies. Those are the ones who say they want it. They say they're going to do it. They say until the first person says, I don't want that product. Until the first person says, what are you, you're in one of those things. Whatever the statement is that gets them to quit, they root up, they say all the right things, and they quit. And that's why you have erasers, right? And then the third type is going to fall um, amongst the thorns. And they're going to take root and grow, but there's so much negativity around them that the thorns come and strangle, the weeds strangle the, the plants and keep them from growing. Okay, you got to erase those people too. But the fourth type of person falls on good soil. And they take root and they grow and they blossom and they keep on going and going. If you know that... Jesus Christ, who a prophet, every religion says, 
son of God, my religion says, if he said, hey, a prophet is not welcome in his own hometown. I'm not talking about money prophet. I'm talking about prophet. A prophet's not welcome in his own or not honored in his own hometown. And you got to go out and talk to others. And not only that, as you're going out and sharing the good news, 75% of the seeds, the soil is not going to fit. It's narrow gate. They fought, the people go through the narrow, the road, the, the trail is narrow. Not everyone is going to be going to RVP. A lot are going to say it, bloom up quick, die out. A lot are going to say it, bloom up, get strangled by the weeds. A lot are going to say it, but some are going to do it. And so you don't know how many. So don't stop at three legs because you should expect some of those legs may not grow. But if you shoot for five who are doing it, now one, you have five active. That's like having five quarterbacks on the roster. One goes down, next, who's up? And some, second one goes down, next, who's up? And you've got five legs growing. The three fastest are going to get you to RVP the quickest. Because here's the thing. Your next goal is achieve ranks. The first rank you want to get is qualified agent. Qualified agent is $50 in personal residual revenue. Five customers. When you hit five customers, you're a qualified agent. You know, you get three levels of pay plus enroller bonuses when you're a qualified agent. Three levels of a team. You're already a business owner. The next rank is team trainer. Okay. A hundred personal revenue. That's 10 pharmacy customers. And 250 in your group. Three legs. Now, you know what's cool about this? Is when I was talking about the five types of soil and talking about this here, most companies, the person you recruit has to earn a certain rank. Or they have to earn a certain rank for you to get qualified. With us, we say, we don't care what ranks your team has. We care about the volume and the profit they're making. We pay you on the profit they make, the personal commissions they earn, we pay you on. And we pay you on your total residual revenue in a leg. So if, if you have 50 people here, none of them ever make it to regional trainer. We don't say, sorry, you're not going to get up the ladder because none of your people made it to regional trainer. No, we're not saying you need three legs of regional trainer and five legs of area director and 10 legs of the, no. We're saying you need three groups with some volume in it. If this group, Bill, has, has 10,000 in volume, it doesn't matter what ranks are in there. You're gonna have some ranks, of course, but it doesn't matter the ranks. If you have 10,000 in residual revenue, that's 10,000 you get to count toward your production, to your, to your promotion. Of course, you get paid on all of it too. So we're not so focused on their rank. We're so focused on their volume and the personal commissions they earn because you get paid on the personal commissions. All right, so your next goal is team trainer. So these are goal sheets you're gonna have. And you're going to check these along and you're going to go through this with anyone that you recruit who says they want to be an RVP. If I'm on your fourth level, and I say, I want to be RVP. And there's no one between me and you active. And you're in Montana and I'm in Michigan, just like my story. It's all right. You're, you're reviewing with me, Dave. How are you doing with your first goals? Your 5, 10, 15, 20. How are you doing with your recruiting goals? Getting to five who say they want to be RVP. Well, I've recruited three, but none of them have raised their hand and said they want to be RVP. No problem. They may recruit someone who does. Every link could be a link to a leader. They don't have to be personally enrolled. They have to be five separate legs. So if you recruit Joe and Joe's not a doer like that, I mean, Joe's a doer, but he's like, I'm not committing to RVP. I'm already committed at my church or I'm already committed at my job or I'm committed with my kids coaching, whatever. Joe says, I'm not doing it. But Joe recruits Lisa and Lisa says, I'm getting after this. That's one of your legs. You need five separate legs. They don't have to be personally enrolled. So that's where this whole as they grow off each other, as Gina recruits people, recruit people, recruit people, if there's one down here who's going for it, says they want to be an RVP and they're achieving their goals, who are you talking to? You're calling right to this person. You're talking to them all the time. You're texting them all the time, talking, how's your goal going? How can I help you? How can I hit you, help you reach your goals? How can I help you reach your goals? How can I help you reach your ranks? What rank are you at? I just hit qualified agent. Beautiful. Now, team trainer, you got to recruit. What rank yet? Did you hit team trainer? Great. Let's do it. When are you going to hit area trainer? When are you going to hit area trainer? This is all it is. Three separate goal sheets. One, your personal customers, 5, 10, 15, 20. Two, goals. You're going to go until you have five active legs, and you're going to keep going until you have five active legs shooting for RVP and doing it, not just saying it. Remember the four types of soil. You can't just say, you can't just take root. You got to take root and keep growing and not let the negativity or the heat burn you up. And then ranks, who's going and climbing through the ranks? Those are the, that's how simple this is. It's a cookie cutter. All right. We get our pharmacy customers. 
we get our, uh, our five legs, we break through the ranks. Now, when you're doing that, you know how many people you're going to have in your team who are also going for it? When you see, wait a minute, if I just do this, eventually, watch how this works. Eventually, you have three people who are going for it. And they're blazing. They got the 20. They got the five legs. They got the, and there's some are going, why would I stop at five? I'm going for 10. That's me. I'm like, I'm not going to stop recruiting or looking for leaders. I'd rather have 10, 20, 30, 40. Well, eventually you're going to have your five and everyone in your team is going to have their five. And you know what's going to happen? As they're going through ranks, you're going to recruit Stacy, And Stacy says, Dave, you're great and all. And I appreciate you. But man, I'm after this like Donkey Kong. I'm rolling now. And Stacy's like, done. Gets these four done like this. I got 12 people already in the business. Seven of them said they're going for RBP. Great. And all of a sudden, Stacy's like this. Boom, 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 boom. Stacy's an ND. She's got $50,000 in revenue. Well, guess what? Stacy's in your team. Stacy's going up the ladder here. She's got 50000 in group revenue because you can't become an ND without it. And guess what? That, that 50000 helps you toward your 100000 you get to count for you that toward your promotion. You see there how that works? So if you find five hungry people, and it doesn't have to be your person in role, it can be somewhere down in their deep, they're gonna go this ladder. If they're not climbing this ladder, they don't count as one of your five. It's that simple. If they're not counting this, climbing this ladder, they're not one of your five. Some of you have been here eight months and you haven't hit area trainer yet. You're not exhibiting team growth. You're not, you're on the team leadership call. You're not building a team yet, right? Or you're not recruiting them the right way or they're all the wrong soil and you haven't recruited enough. So you've got to know, just like Jesus spreading the gospel, you got to talk to enough people. Remember when Jesus shared some things, if you haven't read this in the Bible, he shared some things that freaked a lot of people out, a lot of his followers. He said, my flesh and my blood, you, until you ingest my flesh and drink my blood and, and all this sounds like Dracula has freaked people out. And a bunch of Christians said, I'm out. I'm gone. See ya. Bye. And so he says to his disciples, what about the 12 of you? Are you with me or are you not with me? He wasn't talking about actually eating them. It was a parable, but people took it the wrong way and fled. So I'm sharing with you some things. I expect people to flee. You should too. But when you got your 12, who say, we're doing this. And one of them deceived him, right? Go ahead and replace them. Head to replace Judas too, right? It's what we do. It's about making an impact and leading with something you believe. And you share what you believe. You attract who believes what you believe. And you keep going through here. And if you don't have people doing this, they don't count as one of the five. It's that simple. So that means you got to lead by example too. You got to be an example. You got to be doing your part. Our pharmacy plan is is second to none out there as far as a value twenty dollar product produces ten dollars residual revenue. By the way, if you add up our residual revenue, we 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 pay out. Do you know we pay out ninety to one hundred and forty percent of what you see as residual revenue, one hundred thirty seven percent. So if you see ten dollars, that means we're paying out nine to thirteen bucks. Do you recognize that? So we're not showing twenty and then having a pay plan that only pays thirty five percent out. Oh, we pay 50%, but really pay 35%. No, when you see residual revenue, we expect we'll pay that dollar amount out. So we're not showing 20 and paying out 10. We're showing 10. You get paid off residual revenue. And if there's 100,000 in residual revenue, you can expect there's $100,000 being paid to your team. You can count on it because that's what, why we have that number. That's what we expect to pay out. We did it differently. We don't show price. We show payout as what we expect. So you get paid a percentage of all the incomes of your team. Let's get some growth going, right? All right. So first goal, 5, 10, 15, 20 customers. Why? So you can check that off. Second goal, one, two, three, four, five teammates. Keep going until you find the five legs. Don't stop there. Keep driving. And then you build a relationship with the one. And you're talking to them all the time about how they're how her plan to rank's going, how her plan to customers is going, how her plan to the five is going. If you got five active legs, you're going to be hitting these ranks quick. If you get all these five active legs by the end of the year, you know, I remember when I joined ACN. So I was one of the first reps in ACN, um, which is a great network marketing company. In fact, Tony and Mike Kupis, who are two of the founders, were friends of mine. 
we'll edit this part out. This is a story. We'll edit this out of the training. Uh, but for your own knowledge, and I remember when um, I took some time off for an advertising company I owned and I was focused on building that company and ACN continued to grow and did very well. And I remember calling Tony, okay, I'm ready to start building hard in ACN again. You have a convention coming up in Orlando, Florida. Uh, this is like 96, I think it was, or 95, I don't know. Uh, it's Thursday before the convention. What do you think I should do? Should I go to the convention? He goes, Dave, you know what's going to happen at the convention. You're going to love it. You know you'll love it. You'll be motivated, but you're already hungry. You already know what this business is all about. You've been here for a long time. You understand it. Rather than doing that, I recommend you get five people in my office on Monday. This is Thursday. When I come back from Orlando and let's set up your team your five to go out there and make all the waves. Let's go just find your five. So to have five that next day, Friday, I made calls. Saturday, I made calls. I met at Bennigan's for six hours. Bennigan's is a restaurant like TGI Fridays or Applebee's. Six hours, I was there doing presentation after presentation after presentation after presentation. I've been in the business three days. After presentation, after presentation, after presentation, we didn't have Zooms. I had to meet everyone. And I said, I'm going to have five. I'm not going to not have five show up Monday. So I need to have a lot more than five say they want to do this, say they want to be leaders. Come Monday, I had 13 people in his office, 13 who said they wanted to be at the top rank. It doesn't take till the end of December to have your five. It has to take you talking to 25 or 30 who say they want to do this business to find your five. How quickly do you want to condense time? Do you want to take this 12-month RVP plan and make it a six months? All you got to do is condense these goals. You're in charge of that, not me. You're in charge of that activity level, not me. And those 13 people that were at that training center, at that in that meeting Monday, <laughs> unfortunately, Tony was stuck in Orlando. He couldn't come back. So I had to meet with them myself again at their headquarters because he wasn't there. And we set it up for later that week. But of those uh, uh, 13 people who were in that room, about seven of them stayed the course, about seven. Some of them are still in the team right now. Others have gone on to do other things. And that's the beautiful thing about this is you can launch people, you'll recruit, you know, I just wrote the unsubscribe email to the RVP list. If you get on this RVP list and then you unsubscribe, you're going to get a motivational message from me. It's going to encourage you, whatever you're going to do, I encourage you to give it, hit it with an impact, hit it with a passion, hit it with a purpose, honor God and get out there and do it in a major way. It doesn't have to be DAC, but the fact that you're watching this, I assume DAC is what you want to focus on. Goal one, 5, 10, 15, 20 customers. You want to get after that right now. Goal two, keep recruiting enough people to have your five. Why not have them by Monday of next week? Why not get them all on tomorrow night's training? Why not do what I did and say, okay, you want five in your office who say they're going to hit the top rank by Monday and it's Thursday. I got four days to find five people. I'm not hoping those five show. I'm not going to show up and have three of them call and say, I can't make it. Traffic, can't make it. Traffic. I'm going to get a lot more than five committed to say they're going to do that. means I got to do a lot of presentations between now and then to get them in the business, do a game plan, talk about how good this is going to be. I'm not asking you to do all that. We got a deep presentation tomorrow night. We got a Zoom recording you can watch tomorrow night, today, tomorrow. We got a new biz app meeting coming out tomorrow night. Who's going to have the most people on that meeting? Who's going to be talking to people about, you know what? That's it. I got to find five who want to do this. Well, Dave, not everyone I know wants to do this. I've already talked to most people. Let me just say this. I had talked to most people too. So I had to call them and say, listen, I know I've been involved in home-based business before. This is a little different. I'm working with the founder of the company. We've got a, a game-changing opportunity with a residual plan. It's only 20 bucks for their service, and it's blowing people away on what it can save them in their pharmaceutical medication. And two, we've got an upfront bonus program for business funding where we can help someone get a check with a comment in it tomorrow before they even have a team. And this opportunity is free, and I've got a game plan at RVP in 12 months where I can get car allowances, expense accounts, infinity overrides, and you can't make under six figures. And I'm looking for a team of five or six to say, I'm going to get this done. Re regardless of whether I've done in the past or not, I believe in this and I'm going for it. Do you want to check it out? Dude, you've told me that before. I'm good. Next call. Not, oh, they're right. They're right. Before I got out of General Motors, 
I bought $760 of skincare from a company called New Skin. I ended up throwing it all away and giving it all away. It expired. I never sold any of it. Had I held on to what I had done in the past and believed that that meant I was going to have to do it in the future, I'd still be a General Motors frustrated, kicking and screaming. Don't worry about your past. Your path matters more than your past. Windshields are bigger than wind, uh, rear view mirrors. Forget the rear view mirror. Turn it on tint. Don't let the bright lights scare you. Stay focused on the front. Start over. Start over. Refresh. Start over. You ever fail at a diet? Start over. You ever fail at a workout? Start over. You ever fail at a business? Start over. You ever fail in a relationship? Start over. Start over. Start over. Press reset and let's go. 15, 20 customers, get them. Don't stop there. Keep going. Get to 2,000 in residual revenue. So you can make that 50% in roller bonus and 50% personal residual commission. One, two, three, four, five legs. Start climbing the rain ladder. You got five active legs? This is simple. This is simple. And when you have five active legs doing this, actually doing it, this is simple. And you climb right up that ladder. And I just want to share one more thing with the area director. Right here, this little rank, area director, 10,000 in residual revenue. Do you know that the door breaks open at that point? Not only are you still getting seven level pay as area director, this is 10,000 in residual revenue. This is your short term road bike. This is when you get to stop. You know, I get an electric vehicle. This is when I stop to plug in and charge at a rest stop. By the way, it takes 10 minutes only, it doesn't take four hours. So don't buy what they're telling you. So you stop to use a bathroom and plug in and charge and refuel with water. Area director is the rank that is like fueling. Why? Because it's only 10,000 residual revenue. It's only one tenth of the way there. But man, when you're here, you've already got the organization that's going to get you to here. And so three, you got you got area director, 10,000 residual revenue. What do you get? You get a $400 car allowance. You get the seven level pay, but now you get an extra 30% of all the personal commissions on your entire team. 30% on the entire, your page is doubled because you were getting 25% through seven levels of what the personal commissions are. You still get that 25%, but now you get 30% override on all your team through infinity. So now you're making 55% through your first seven levels of what everyone's personal commissions are. Are you kidding me? That's business ownership. Plus you can start a new group called a coded group, a new permanent infinity group. Anyone new you recruit after breaking area director, you now get... 25% through seven levels, plus 30% override through infinity, plus 20% that you can never get cut out of. Do you realize that is 75% of what they're earning you earn on any new group you recruit, and you never get cut out of that 20% through infinity? You can't get cut out of it, even if they break area director, even if they break regional vice president, 20%. On their group, you get of their income through infinity forever. This is, and by the way, RD, you just get a higher override and a higher infinity. ND, you get a higher override and higher infinity. RBP, higher override, higher infinity. Do you know that there's actually positions above here? RBP silver, gold, platinum, and senior vice president. And all they do is give you extra bonuses, extra expense accounts, extra revenue sharing, and even equity. See, this is just the beginning. If you have three of your groups break RVP, you're blazing through the plan. So don't worry about anything right now except what you can control. Control the controllables. Your goals. Write them down. Goal one. Five, ten. Write 20 names down on a piece of paper until you've got 20 in there. And if, what if one of them leaves the, RV, the, the pharmacy plan? Replace them. Call another one. Call another one. Goal two. Your five legs. Write them down. They're, these you're going to have to replace. Keep going till you find five legs. Keep recruiting. You might have three legs right now in your team that you recruited me, recruited someone, recruited someone, and they may have said they want to be part of the RVP movement. Okay, you'll know it by watching their numbers, right? But you, you want to call out to them and talk to them and then help them through the ranks and help yourself through the ranks. Everyone we recruit, this, this, this. That's it. These are the measurables. I'm not getting customers. Next. I'm not recruiting anyone. Next. Those are all great people that can be in the program and do well. They're just not one of your five. Well, Dave, I, I've recruited 20. I don't have any of the five. Yeah, well, what did you say when you recruited them? Did you show them a plan like this? 
You know, some people, all they need is a plan. There's a lot of people who will work out every day. They just don't know what to do and they're not inspired by anything. Show them a plan, show them a result. And they go, I'm in. Show them a plan, show them a result. Six figures, simple plan. This takes care of itself by taking care of these people. If you got five who do this and are trying to do this, they're forcing you up, they're doing volume. And you're always adding more. That's how simple it is. That's how simple it is. Now, um, with that, and we'll edit this up to reduce the time, take out some of my stories. But I'm going to ask you as we bring this to a close, if you really did just focus on doing this goal and this goal, if it was really that simple, and by doing that and helping others do that and being willing to keep working with people until you find the five who do this and this, they got to be willing to recruit the people and get the customers. If you, if that's all it took, if the cookie cutter said, just do a simple thing, simple, get your customers, recruit five who say they want to be RVPs. And then if those five don't really do what it takes to be RVPs, keep going until you find someone or tap root down to your team until you find the five. And once you have the five who are really getting the customers and recruiting the five and they're willing to replace the people in their team who don't do it, if that's all it is and you'll get to RVP within two, uh, 12 months, which I promise you will, if that's all it is, then I'll do it because that's all it is. Now, if for some reason you get your 20 and you recruit your five and they're not getting customers and you still say, well, I've got my five. And I say, how many customers does your second person have? None. Okay, that's not one of your five. Well, they said they are. Empty cans make the most noise. Did you get your 20 customers? Yes. Can they do it? Yes. Have they? No. So does it matter that they said it? Well, yeah, but they said they're busy right now. Okay, then there shouldn't be one of your fives. I want you to play quarterback now. You need to be training now. Well, I can start training in four months. Okay, great. You're not going to be one of my quarterbacks. Right. So let's use business mindset. Let's not buy every reason. Everyone has good reasons why they're active or not active. You're looking for five active people right now, ready to go. You got your customers? Check. Did they? No, they don't count as one of your five. They did? Great. Are they recruiting their five? Yeah, they recruited some, but they've kind of stopped. None of their five are doing anything. They stopped. Then they're not one of your five. If Stacy's got her 20 customers, but Stacy's five people who said they were going to be RVP don't have any customers, and Stacy doesn't recognize Stacy needs to add more people to get her five that will do this, Stacy doesn't count as one of your five. She's just a 20 customer getter. Leadership says, I will get my customers and I won't stop with my sourcing and, and stra uh, uh, launching people until I find five who are doing the things. Both of these. Not just recruiting them, but recruiting the ones who are willing to do it as well. All right, RVP plan questions. What do we got? Hey, David, great training today. Um, question or clarification. I know the answer to this, but for everyone who is watching, when you say build five legs with someone that's going for RVP, that's just a minimum. You could have 20, 30, 40, 50 legs and volume from all of those legs is going to count towards your 100,000 overall to hit RVP, correct? Absolutely. I wouldn't stop at five. It's just these are the goals. Just like I'm not stopping at 20, I wouldn't stop at five. That's just the plan. If I'm doing that, I count as one of your people. If I don't do these minimums, these are the minimums. If I don't do these, don't count me as one of your five. This is a measuring stick of assignments for all of you to know if your team's serious. So you show you're serious by doing these, but like Ellen says, there's no reason to stop at five. And looking at this number here, if you had 20 organizations and all 20 of those organizations are doing 5,000 each only, you're got 100,000, you're an RVP. You don't need you don't need seven of them to be national directors or any or two of them to be net. You could have 20 organizations with 5,000 each that puts you in RVP. So you don't need to stop at five. This is just a minimum assignment so that you know the person's serious about the building their business. Thanks, Ellen.
All right, next up, we've got Nick Duhame. You can go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, David. Can hey, you hear me? Nick, how are you, buddy? Good, my friend. Good, good. Amazing call. And this is about reaching out to current team members and in this recruitment stage of new potential agents that are going for RVP as well. So um, this is more of coming up in the initial call, reaching out to your already existing teammates, seeing who is ready and focused and locked in to go to RVP. Yep. And then the other, the other, for, the other way, um, the other question would be how to go about these new recruits. I'm coming in. I'm the mindset I shifted right now is I'm listening to you, David. I'm going to get there. I want to know how you would do it, and then I'm yep. going to take my personality, go with it, do exactly what you would do. So, Love um, it. Okay. and I know this is by implementing what you say. I'm. I know it takes action. The action I, I will do it. Others will too. So I just wanted to hear your Love your it. intake on, your take on that. Love it. Um, great points, Nick. First thing is going out to your existing reps, your existing yes. team. You're reaching out and you're saying, first of all, you have to have a reason to call them, as you know, and you should teach that all the time. You yep. want to reach out and say, did you hear about the new pharmacy plan? Are you aware of the new pharmacy plan? Because it's been a game changer for our business, for team building. Because the masses can get consumer customers. A lot of the people in our team weren't successful at getting business clients. A small percent were, which did a lot of volume, makes a lot of people money. But a large percentage of the people can get pharmacy customers. Are you aware of that product? Because, because of that product, DAC just launched a new 12-month RVP plan to get to RVP. and earn. You're, you can't earn under six figures. So I'm going for that plan. You know, I've been focused on funding for a lot of years and I've done well, but I'm going for that plan. This is you talking. I'm going yep. for that plan and I'm looking to identify what Dave taught is go through your team and just find out who's interested in that, who's not. And if, right. if you're interested, I want you to watch the game plan video. And if you like what you're on the game plan, we'll roll together. If not, I totally get it. Have you seen that game plan video? So the first question is, have you heard about the RVP? I'm sorry, the RX plan. Number two, this is a game changer because now the average person in our business can get customers like they and produce revenue like they've never been able to before. Number three, I'm focusing on that new plan. So one of the things they taught is reach out to everyone in your group, find out who's interested and who's not. Have you seen the RVP plan? Then send them the RVP plan video, what you've got, what you just watched. And then mm -hmm. those who are interested, let's do a game plan and we'll set up and help you get there. That's it. That's how you reach out to your existing team. Perfect. And as you sort through those, it's just like you doing follow up to see if they need more funding. Yep. Many will, many won't. Exactly. The second thing is brand new people. You're going to see it baked right into our presentation where we say there's three types of people. First type, not interested. Second type, need to think about a third type, ready to roll. We encourage the twos and threes to get started with us. And by the way, we're really on a mission to make a major impact. So we've actually got a real aggressive plan reaching a rank in our company called regional vice president and that rvp rank you can't make under six figures it's a 12-month plan it's for people that like what they hear it just felt right and you're really serious like you can really invest some good part-time effort into this and you will over the next six to 12 months you just want to make a difference make an impact with this business if that's you you want to go through our rvp plan to see if it's something that speaks to you we're going to say that in every presentation and Beautiful. then with the person who recruited you and let them know you want to be going for that RVP plan. And if so, you guys can game plan this together and go make it happen together. So I say that to everyone. When I recruited those people to go to that meeting with ACN, I said right. that to them. Listen, I'm looking for five people that want to go to the top of the pay plan. I'm going to meet with the owner only with people who want to go to the top of the pay plan. If you're serious about going to the top of the pay plan, then I want you in my private meeting. If not, that's cool. It's a great business, but I don't want to, I don't want to cloud his time and attention with people that aren't serious about going to the top of the pay plan. And, you know, you say that people go, I'm in, I'm in, you're going to get more active leaders with that. Great question. Is that clear? Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much, David. Buddy. All right. Who else do we got Morgan? Next up, we have Kurt W. You can go ahead and unmute yourself, Kurt. Hi, David. How are you doing today? Fantastic. Kurt, how are you? Good, good. I just had a quick question for you. I know you said the RVP is roughly maybe like eight to 10,000 a month residual. 
Um, yeah. What about like the national director or the regional director? What would those payouts be comp plan wise? Well, it's interesting because if you take, this is the easiest way to figure out the minimum. Take the group residual revenue, multiply that by 20%, because you know that's personal commissions. Okay. So what's 20% times 50,000? 10,000. So the minimum personal commissions being paid on your group is 10,000. Okay. Now you're making minimum 25% on that through your seven levels. So 25% of 10 grand is $2,500. That's the minimum you can make. Plus a thousand here, plus a thousand here, you're at 4,500 minimum at the national director level. That does not count your overrides. So multiply that by 20%. That's the minimum personal commissions being paid out. You make 25% of that 10 grand plus a thousand plus a thousand plus your overrides, which could be as high as 30% of that 10 grand, which is another $3,000. I know I went through a lot of math. Did you follow me, Kurt? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. You bet. So it's about 4,500. Okay. Yep. Minimum. I don't see any other questions, right? Yep. That's it. Okay. So in summary, hit your goal number one, write it down, go get it done. We'll have a PDF that covers this, but until then, don't count on it. Use the yellow pad like everyone else does. Write that down. Write down the 20 names when you got them. Hit your five goals. Tell your enroller you plan to go RVP. You plan to do it. Team up and find someone in your upline who's going for it too. And you team up with them and you talk to them daily about it. You talk to them regularly about it. And if your upline's not willing to do that, then they're not being a leader to their team. Okay, that's okay. My upline didn't do it and his upline didn't do it and his upline didn't do it. So I found someone in another state who was, right? Don't count it. And if that means corporate, then it's corporate. You don't need an enroller. So, but you do tell your enroller, you tell your enroller and you tell your team and you work out with your team right here. If you don't have an upline, that's okay. Ellen doesn't have an active upline. She's still here building. I don't have an active upline. I'm still here building. Nick and Matt don't have, well, Matt, Nick does, but Matt doesn't have an active upline. Oh, Matt, Matt doesn't have an active upline. He's still here building. A lot of people don't. Doesn't change the fact that they're going for it. They believe in it. All right. Go through the ranks. Once you got these two handled, this takes care of itself. Until you have these two handled, this does not take care of itself. These two take care of this. These two take care of this. And this secret is most people never get it. They never do this part. They never do that. That's the secret of our industry is not stopping till you find people who see it like you see it and will go for it like you're going for it. And if you go, I just don't want to do that, then that's fine then just say you're not going to be an RVP. But if you are willing to do that, you will be an RVP. I can promise you that. I don't, I've never met anyone who hasn't made it to the top of a pay plan who's willing to do these things. Just never surrender recruiting and building teams until you find people who see it like you do. And you, once you do that, you love it. You don't want to stop. God bless you all. Have a